compressor I've been using for years. It's lasted quite a while. It's a great compressor, works really well. It's just really loud. You know, I'm working in people's houses, doing some trim work, putting in a kitchen install. I really don't need that thing running in the background. It's annoying, it's loud, it vibrates the house. I don't like it. So I've been looking for a new compressor and uh, I wanna show you guys the Roll Air. This is the Roll Air JC10. Really nice compressor. Small, lightweight, 39 pounds, two and a half gallon tank, eight amperage. So it's a really low, you know, if it's cold weather start, it's supposed to work really good. I don't know, it's really hot now, so I can't really tell. But uh, we'll just give that a shot in the winter time. Uh, it's only one, one horsepower motor. A couple of nice things about it. I like the braided line. You know, if you ever damage it or anything, it looks like it's something simple, easy to replace as opposed to that copper line that most of the other compressors have. Um, it's in a nice roll cage. Um, let's fire this bad boy up just so you can hear how quiet it is. Dead, it's dead empty. Let's fire it up. It's really quiet. Um, one of the nice things about it too is if one of your guys, you know, the compressor's running and you pull the cord, it releases the head pressure, so it's a lot easier to start back up. You plug it right back in, it's gonna start right back up. Lights didn't dim, and I'm all on the same circuit in here. Really nice compressor. So, a couple little other fun facts about it. It, um, it takes about 45 seconds to refill from dead empty, and when you're firing it, when it kicks on, it takes about 13 seconds to fill back up. My only complaint that I've found to date so far is the gauges. Compressor so low to the ground, I can't see the gauges. I have to tilt them back so I can see the gauges and, and you know tune everything in. You know, it would have been nice to see the gauges on the top so that I can see it while the compressor's sitting on the ground. Other than that, you know, the compressor has been really good to me. Really nice rubber feet, helps keep it quiet, helps the vibrations. I, the table didn't vibrate at all. Um, let's turn it on. You're gonna we'll run it for a couple more seconds. Table's not vibrating at all. It's quiet. I can talk over it. It's a very solid compressor. Let's, um, let's put it to some use. We're gonna throw, show you guys a couple different applications. I'm gonna use a framing gun, finish a couple finished guns, and we're gonna fire it away and see you know, how it performs. All right, so let's try this guy out. First, we're gonna fully up to pressure. We're gonna try it out with our framing gun. Let's see how many shots and how you know, well it drives. Starting to get a little sluggish, but I haven't stopped. All right. So as we fired quite a few nails before it really started not sinking them, and let's let it get up to pressure again. We'll give it another little run. It seems to come on every, you know, when I've been using it out in the field too. It seems like every about every six shots or so, the compressor will kick on with the big framing gun. It's not really meant for it, but you know, if I need to couple little shoot a couple nails or build a little set of stairs or something. You know, so far it's been hanging in there and doing a great job. One more shy. Six on the number, kicks on. And we're starting to get a little slow. So overall, you know, overall I feel the compressor works rather well for with the framing gun. If you're not nailing off a subfloor, if you're just tacking some things up and you you're not really trying to go crazy with the nails. I think it'll uh, you know, work great for that application. Let's try 15 gauge. It's got two and a half inch nails. That had uh, 10 pennies, three inch nails in the uh, framing gun. So let's try it with uh, our finish gun and see how it works. Fully up to pressure. All right, let's see how many nails are fired. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven nails before it had to kick back on. Everyone is completely below the surface. Um, let's fire some more. Let's go as fast as I can. Man, this compressor 
I ran out of nails. This compressor is keeping up. I ran out of nails. It's been running. It's keeping up. I think for, you know, for definitely for finish work, you're not going to have any issues with it at all. One more we'll throw on, you know, Brad nail gun. Let me throw a couple more nails in there. All right, let's try the 18 gauge uh, Brad nailer. We threw in some one and a quarter Brad nails and this nail gun actually has a sequential mode. So we'll sh turn it into that and we don't, just let's see if this thing can uh, hold up with it, you know, how many nails we can set before it goes off. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen brad nails before the compressor had to kick on. I think we could fire it all day long. And I think this compressor will keep up with it. I mean it's setting every one. You know, almost burned through a third of the rack. Yeah, every single nail is setting, and there is actually a nail in there. We almost burned through that whole rack of nails. Compressor's running. I'm talking over it. It's not loud. It's not vibrating. It's an amazing little compressor. Head pressure is released. One of the cool things is it is still, it's, this frame is very rigid. 13 pounds. I'm 200 pounds, and I'll get right on this bad boy. No issues. I mean, it's in a nice frame. I think you guys are going to be really happy with this compressor. I know I have been. I'd love to thank Rollair and the, the Tool Nut for sending me this compressor out to try. It's exceeded my expectations. I'm so glad, you know, I got to, the opportunity to try this. And I definitely am going to be looking into one of their bigger ones. I'm going to be purchasing one of them for, you know, more out in the field, rugged construction. You know, framing guns, roofing guns, we're gonna try one. I've been super impressed with them, and I think you guys will be too. I'm Dave Reinold, have a good day.